gotta like try to get whatever this is, like a muscle. Get them a fongo. Wow. Delicious. That's all I'm gonna think of. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here coming at you from San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm staying on the Isla de Encanto for about one week and I'm based out of the Intercontinental San Juan, one of the best hotels on the island. It's located a five minute drive from the airport. They have 398 rooms and they're located on this incredible two mile beach it's called Isla Verde Beach. And one of my favorite things in the world is staying at hotels that are located on beaches because at 6.30, 7 in the morning, it's 6.35 right now, I go swimming. It's a great way to start your day. Let's go in the water. But before that, let me tell you that today is gonna be very exciting. Me and Maria Le Viaje are about to go straight to the east side of the island and we're going mini boat island hopping. I've never done this before. Basically, we get little boats, we both drive our own boats, and we just go island hopping for a few hours. We're gonna eat some seafood on the water. It's gonna be incredible. Now let's go meet with Maria Le Viaje and head east. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Hola, good morning. We are going to Fajardo. And I think that is like in one hour. Yes, one hour here. And we are all ready. If you decide to go on this mini boat tour, what I recommend is waking up early Driving to Fajardo takes about an hour drive on the P66 and the P3. You pass a Yunque and you head to Fajardo. Fajardo is a, like a small port. From there, you can also take a ferry to Culebra if you want to. And what we decided to do is we were working with Kayak Puerto Rico. We're gonna go on their mini boat tour. It takes about three hours. We go island hopping to two different islands. We go snorkeling. It's gonna be an amazing experience. I cannot wait. And uh, I think I need a pina colada right now. Ooh, beautiful day. We arrived here to Puerto Chico Marina. That is where we'll be getting on the mini boats with kayaking Puerto Rico. Can we take the water? It's been a while since I've been on a boat. I haven't gone island hopping in years. So this is our route map for today. We're starting in Puerto Chico, and then where are we going? We are going to visit two islands, Icacos and Palominitos. Yeah, so this is yes. the route. Dun, dun, dun. Takes around three hours. We're going in two boats. And this is sort of like how we have to be. We have to have 150 foot distance between each other. And then the second boat has to stay in the right lane of the wake trail. Basically, these are the waves, they're gonna separate, and then this is gonna be a clear path. Are you ready? ready? Let's do this. Woohoo! Let's do it. <laughs> so these mini boats are dinghies. They fit four people, a driver and three passengers. Me and Mariel are going on a separate boat. Adrian's going in front with the captain in a different boat, 150 feet in front of us. You guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Woo. As ready as I can be. Wake up, Mariel, wake up. Please. Do not go on a boat without a life vest. We're ready, we're ready, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, the wave just hit us so hard. I thought I lost my GoPro and I thought this camera got soaked. Woo! That was an adventure. <laughs> that was crazy. After a 20 minute super choppy ride, it was pretty intense, but it was amazing. We made it to the Isla de Icacos. You can see it's like a virgin beach in the middle of nowhere. It's incredible. Right here is Tortuga Reef. You can see right through the water, it's that clear. Behind us, we have Northern Puerto Rico, Heart of Lighthouse, and right now, we're about to jump in. Let's go, Maria, you ready? Let's go, I'm ready. This is why I love Puerto Rico. Maria, what do you think of this beautiful beach? It's amazing, it's amazing, the color, wow. Yes, it's one of the most beautiful places here in Puerto Rico, I think so. I think. Virgin Beach, come out here on your boat with your family. 
relax all day. Amazing. It really is amazing. We are going to Palominito, is the other island. Yeah, Palominito is right over there. We're gonna cross over there. It's gonna be it's gonna be very choppy. Get ready for an exciting ride. Let's go. Right here we have the island of Palominito. It basically was an island, now it's a sandbar. Over here to the left we have the island of Palomino. This is incredible, this is like really the Caribbean. I mean, I am blown away by this. I'm about to jump in the water, meet up. Move everybody. Oh my God, this is incredible. Look at this water, it's so turquoise. It's like crystal clear blue. Woo! During one of the movies of the Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp to film the scene right here. He got stranded on an island with a bunch of barrels of rum. Not a bad place for that. Look at this. Look at this. What? Woo! Oh my god. The only rock. <laughs> he stepped on it. This is just, guys, this is paradise. This is real paradise. Like, just come here, leave the cameras and the phone at home, just dive in the water. I cannot believe we're on this island. What? This, this experience is my favorite experience by far in Puerto Rico. You have to contact Kayak in Puerto Rico and do the mini boat tour. It's an automatic must when you come to Puerto Rico. PR, kayaking tour, PR, do it. Oh, it's incredible. It's amazing. Palominito is, you'll be so shocked when you come here because you can't even believe this exists. It's incredible. Wow, and it is definitely the number one place to get some Instagram shots for photographers. This is a must. And right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Fajardo and then we're going to lunch. It's a little choppy on the way, so let me put the camera away and I'll see you when we get to Fajardo. Let's go. Rafael. Gracias. Oh. Muy Gracias. Gracias. That tour was insane. You guys have to do it when you come to Puerto Rico. It's just a must. Make time for this tour. All you need is half day. Get here really early, around 8.45 in the morning. You go out there for about three hours. Just incredible, spectacular day on the water. And next we're going to Las Cravas. It's an area about a five minute drive from here. And there's a bunch of restaurants. We're gonna look for a local Puerto Rican restaurant because we want to eat real PR food. I'm super excited. I'm hungry. The best thing for me would be some fish right now and a beer. Let's go. We made it to Las Cravas and here, just driving on the road, we saw this place which is called Costa Mia Restaurant. Looks really good. They have mofongo with seafood. They have uh, arepas rellenas. They have capurias. I mean, they have basically everything you can want that's Puerto Rican food. Right behind me, we have the beach. Isn't that incredible? So one of the specialties here is a pina colada. Mm. Oh wow, with whipped cream on top? Look at this guys. Mmm. The really taste, the delicious pina. And they also put a cherry into it, so it gives it a little, you know, a sweeter flavor. As you can see, you definitely need to bring a lot of sunscreen. I put sunscreen like three times, but I guess my hat was backwards and four hours in the sun is not good. It's not a good look for me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so we got a seafood feast. The presentations here are incredible. Right here we have a mixed seafood cocktail. I got mofongo with seafood. She got a steak with seafood. And he got soto paella with a fish. And then there's also clams and mussels. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a mix. Some octopus. Oh, some shrimp right there. Look at that. Oh, I love that cocktail sauce. Dish, it feels more of like a ceviche than a, than a cocktail. Next, we have the seafood mofongo. And mofongo is a mix of plantain, yuca, fried, and on top they have this mountain of seafood with a red sauce. Oh my god. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a piece, get a little bit of seafood. Mm. Oh my god. This is the best. Mmm. It tastes very like banana plantain, but the yuca gives a nice flavor. It also has garlic. Mmm, the sauce is a little spicy. Wow. You gotta like try to get whatever this is, like a muscle. Get the mofongo. Wow. 
delicious. That's all I'm gonna think of. This is called a volcano. Steak, shrimp, mushrooms, mashed potatoes. What? So what I did here is I got some meat. I got a shrimp, surf and turf. Mmm. So fresh. Mmm. Oh, and the gravy with the mushrooms. You get the full experience is when you mix everything together. Gravy, mushrooms, shrimp, and meat. I'm gonna continue with the mofoma, but it's just so good. It's just, I love a spicy sauce. There's nothing like coming to a beach restaurant and eating seafood on the beach. Yeah, it's one thing I want to mention is that this restaurant, it's not cheap, but the food is like top-notch food. Part of the best food we've eaten in Puerto Rico that's not fried. No, Salino. Here. Team Puerto Rico. Proceed. Boricua. <laughs> Morena. Dominicano. Colombiano. Palo, 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 eh. Eh, eh, eh. Medallia. It takes one hour to drive from Fajardo to the Intercontinental San Juan. We arrived and right now it's happy hour at the club lounge. That's every day between 5 and 7 p.m. The only way you can visit the club lounge is if you stay in a club suite or a club room. There's 36 club rooms and suites. Six of them are suites, the other 30 are rooms. And they also have breakfast every day between 7 and 10 a.m. and then on the weekends 7 to 11. Well, I hope you guys love this video because we had an incredible day. We were on the boat. We ate some awesome food. Yes, many activities. We are tired. We're but... super tired. <laughs> we hope you love this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. And subscribe to my channel, her channel. Mariel De Viaje. In all the social media. <laughs> I'll see you on the next adventure in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. La sangre me llama. Thank you.